This is my project for the 2018 Hackaday Prize, a dedicated hardware MIDI controller for controlling Tornado, which is a multi-award winning audio effects software plugin developed by Sugarbytes. So Tornado is a real-time multi-audio effects software plugin that has a simple but powerful interface of eight knobs, where each knob controls its own effect in varying ways. There are 24 different effects to choose from, ranging from classic effects such as filters, reverbs and delays, to more high-tech effects such as loopers, granulizers and vocoders. It also has something called the dictator mode, where you can control all, all eight knobs simultaneously with a single fader uh, in varying patterns. It is considered one of the best pieces of software for live audio manipulation and it is used by producers and performers all over the world, with Beardy Man being one of the most well-known recognised users. So the main section and most novel feature of my controller comprises of eight pairs of dedicated controls for controlling the eight software knobs. The first control of the pair is a standard rotary encoder which sets a, a base value of the software knob. And then the second control is a single axis of a thumb joystick that allows momentary two-way control of the knob value centering around the base value. The encoder also has a switch that has two functions. So if the joystick is currently being used, the switch is used to set the current joystick to be the new base value. And if the joystick isn't being used, it resets the base value to zero. Up here we have a ninth set of dedicated controls for controlling the dictator mode fader in the exact same way. And then here we have a dedicated control for setting the mix parameter. Here we have a button that triggers the randomized feature and creates a random patch in Tornado. Here we have a pair of buttons for going up and down through Tornado presets. Uh, we have an LCD which has two functions. Its primary function is to, is to display the real-time values of the knobs and the secondary function is to display a menu for configuring the controller's MIDI settings where these encoders are used for navigation and setting values. And finally the controller is connected to the computer and powered all through a mini USB port on the back. So why have I created this and what problems does it attempt to solve? Tornado being hardware controllable is essential for live performances, as in these scenarios the performer usually prefers to have direct, tangible and easy access to the software without having to use a computer. However, I found that using a generic MIDI controller doesn't always give the best experience or allow you to use the application to its full potential. So here are the problems that exist that existing MIDI controllers have when being used to control Tornado, followed by the solutions that this controller offers. So problem one, generic MIDI controllers don't always contain a set of controls that allow the user to control the Tornado knobs or dictator fader in the optimum way, both from an interactivity and musical aspect. So the solution to this, the controller provides a set of thumb joysticks for controlling each of Tornado's knobs and the dictator fader independently in an intuitive and ergonomic manner. Self-centering continuous controls such as joysticks are what I find most useful for controlling Tornado as when controlling, uh, when performing live audio manipulation, it's usually only done in short bursts rather than continuously, where a control that springs back is very useful. Also, you are able to operate these types of controls with just one finger compared to dials that usually need two fingers, meaning you can operate multiple controls simultaneously. Uh, problem two. Uh, generic MIDI controllers don't often contain an intuitive control layout that matches that of the software plugin and in will most cases not provide enough controls or provide too many controls where the presence of unused controls can be confusing. The controller could, so the solution to this is that the controller contains a control layout that roughly matches that of the software plugin and it provides a set of controls for controlling all the Tornado's primary parameters, no more and no less. The third problem, generic MIDI controllers often still rely on the user having to use the computer screen for visual feedback of the parameter values. And the solution to this is that this controller contains an LCD for providing real-time visual feedback of the plugin parameters with bi-directional MIDI communication, meaning both the hardware and software will always be in sync with each other. Uh, the final problem is that generic MIDI controllers don't often make it easy or possible to allow multiple instances of Tornado to be controlled, either simultaneously or in quick succession, by just a single hardware device. So the solution to this is that this controller allows the following two MIDI channel configuration settings. So firstly, each control can have an independent MIDI channel, allowing multiple instances of Tornado running on different DAW tracks to be controlled simultaneously. 
and also the controller provides a quick way to change the global MIDI channel of the device, allowing the device to quickly change which instance of Tornado it is controlling. And this is done using a button combination of random plus preset up or preset down. Uh, so for more information about the project, as well as for a full musical demo, please see the project's Hackaday project page, which I've added a link to in the description of this video. Uh, thanks. Thanks. <laughs>